Hey guys, hope you're good. This is Max from MHS Prod and today we will do an incredible tutorial. Let's take a look at what we are going to create today. All these shots are few experiments made in little minutes. You will see that you will be able to go uh, really, really far with this technique. I uh, had the idea to make this tutorial after watching the French Facebook group. One guy uh, asked the community how we can achieve uh, this effect. And I watched uh, that he used Explosia from Xparticle, he export VDB and Mesh uh, within Udemy. Today we will see how to do um, all this inside uh, Xparticle and Cinema 4D. I will also show a few tricks uh, to let you know that uh, without uh, Xparticle you are able to uh, create really nice effects. So, Let's take a look at Cinema 4D and start right now. So we will use X-Particle uh, to create uh, this stuff. Let's see how Explosia works. I have like uh, one single object. Let's uh, say it's a sphere. It's by far too big. I was like the guy, hey, let's see. I have a super nice tool to create things. But my sphere is too big. Okay, let's start with a small sphere. Let's create in Xparticle a new dynamic object, Explosia FX. You will see this grid. Let's center the sphere. And right click, Xparticle tag, Explosia FX source. If I click play, magic happens. And basically, I will be able to create a uh, VDB meshing around this sphere. So let's hit Shift C to open uh, the command center and let's um, type open VDB, maybe VDB, XP OVDB measure. In the XP OVDB measure, just drag and drop Explosia FX just uh, disable this at the moment and you see that something is already happening so this is the basic the really basic principle it's not that uh, much complicated I mean you just do smoke simulation inside uh, X particle and then you mesh it if you want to achieve more complex effects, of course, it will take more time, but the workflow is really simple. In the open VDB measure, you will be able to um, create something with more detail. It's directly linked to the Explosia uh, detail. If you want more detail, decrease the voxel size. You need to restart your simulation. If I decrease the voxel size, I will have more precision, something um, slower but it will have more precision you see all these nice details happening I can even add more stuff for example let's click there let's uh, up a bit the curl effect um, let's go to Explosia let's change some parameters if you want let's add some curl and wind effect I mean it can be nice to play with all this but I will not go that far I'm just showing the principle and the magic happens in the VDB measure so you need to maybe lower the size and if you lower the size you will have more details you see it's looking pretty nice and it's actually um, fast for what it is I mean that's a smoke simulation meshed and it looks pretty nice if you want to have a clean look on the top of this sim you just not need to go under filters and tick the box 
magic happens. You can click and control directly the influence of the tag and the filters. Let's add, for example, another filter, and you see that it helps. It helps to have something cool. Just double click and disable the sphere, and I just need to mesh this thing and texture it. So I will quickly show you how I create these nice effects you see in the um, After Effects beginning like how you can create all these nice shaders basically it's pretty easy I use Octane but you can use anything to render let's go for an HDRI I will use HDRI link from Grayscale Goya just because I'm a lazy boy it allows me to go faster and let's use another texture environment and let's set it to visible environment so I have a flat color okay nice you see it's already pretty nice I just want to have more um, a sexy texture on it so right click create let's go for metallic nice Double click, open the node editor. I will create some nice mix material. So let's duplicate um, by hitting control, control, drag, drop, and change the specular color. Let's choose something like gold, goldish. Just to have a quick idea of how you can create this nice color variation shaders nice and let's add a dirt dirt node to apply correctly um, your material sometimes uh, with open VDB measure you need to delete and then reapply your material if your octane material is not displaying just right click render all materials or render material the preview will update nice I will increase and change this just to be sure that we see correctly what's happening and you see in all these little areas where I have like um, ambient occlusion and stuff uh, I have this color so let's go back to dirt let's increase the strength maybe change the radius maybe change a bit the detail one is nice and I mean that's pretty old. You can create um, an octane material. This material can be something that emits lights. Just drag and drop. You need to go under emission, sorry, black body emission. Surface brightness. Let's change the color. pretty nice looking let's add octane camera and I mean that's pretty old that's pretty old to create something let's add post processing because everybody love octane post process processing super nice um, change stuff okay I'm, I'm like super happy with this and then you just need to eat and render so you need to wait a bit of course but this is pretty nice that's a really nice abstract effect that you can have um, on your title design or anything I mean it's pretty cool and that's the principle now let's see more uh, Explosia tricks. Let's reload some uh, Explosia and you will be able to create uh, Explosia on anything, even moving object. Let's apply, for example, a vibrate tag. 
position, scale, rotation, let's add some craziness to this, let's right click, let's go to X particle, that's some kind of magic, do not forget that the simulation is also based on the scale, so it's important to have the right scale, to have the nice simulation happening, you can control the sub step by hitting Ctrl D, X particle, you can increase the subframe steps to have something with more accuracy. You can of course move the Explosia FX uh, box, changes the size and just play till you have something you like and something is great. Only thing you need to have is add your open VDB measure that you will find in generator. OVDB measure, super nice. Um, you can apply it on any kind of object. I mean, you can start from an, an ob another object than a sphere. You can import your own object till you add some um, some stuff. It will work. Any it, it can create really nice um, effects to play with uh, other objects. Like wow, this is looking really nice. We can create like super atomic stuff. Do not forget to play with all these parameters. You can create a lot of variation and stuff. You can also play uh, with emitters as um, Explosia source. So let's take an emitter, let's change the emission shot. Nice, nice, nice. I want it to be a circle or sphere, super nice. Right now, right click, add Explosia source. You won't see anything, but you will see something if you go under extend data, physical data, and you can choose to do some smoke, full and stuff. As soon as you will add this thing, you will see the magic happening. Thanks for watching this video. Do not hesitate to come and join our Facebook group called the Motion Designers Community. You will be able to see uh, the people render and experiment. You will be able to share yours, talk with people, uh, meet people. That's super nice. It's called Motion Designers Community. Feel free to take a look at our website, you will find advanced cinema for the tutorial, contests and everything uh, in terms of events, hope to see you there and you can also join our Discord, you have the link under the video, that's super nice, that's uh, more organized than our Facebook group, you can talk in general, share your work, share inspiration, uh, ask critique from the community. Uh, I mean that's super nice and you can even even talk with people if you love to talk to people. Thank you again for watching this video and see you next time for more amazing stuff.